My name is Alexandra Owens. I work in the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade in the ASEAN and East Asia Summit section. So ASEAN stands for the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, which um, is comprised of the 10 countries in Southeast Asian region. I studied French all through high school and went to France on a, an exchange after year 12 and I came back to start an arts degree and I wanted to do an Asian language to, to balance the sort of European one and somebody told me Indonesian was good, um, relatively easy to learn so I thought I'll start Indonesian studies and that really was the beginning of um, my connection or desire to work with Asia. I fell in love with Indonesia the minute that I went there on my first trip. I then did a six month study exchange to Indonesia, followed by a youth exchange program that the Australian government and DFAT runs. My group went to a village in East Java where um, myself and my counterpart Feely were placed with uh, a host family in the village. And we spent two months working on projects with the village. We went around to lots of the local schools and taught them about Australia and taught them songs like um, give me a home among the gum trees and that sort of thing and, and taught these gorgeous little Indonesian school children just a little bit more about Australia. Working in the ASEAN and East Asia Summit section basically involves um, Australia's engagement with ASEAN, the association, um, and also our role with the East Asia Summit. So in short, it means preparing for the series of meetings that um, our foreign minister, our trade minister and our prime minister attend throughout the year, as well as our ambassador to ASEAN. So at these meetings, um, our ambassador to ASEAN, for example, will, will attend the meeting and sit at uh, you know, quite a large table where one representative from each country will be seated at the table and somebody like myself um, in an officer role sits behind her. Um, and at the meeting, the chair, which this year is Vietnam, um, as the ASEAN chair will host the meeting and invite comments from all of the various representatives from the different countries. It's generally quite exciting. It's, you know, before a meeting, we would have spent a good month or so um, preparing the information that's required and talking to various agencies here in Australia about their, their views. And then the meeting is, you know, the chance where you see all the work that you've been doing um, actually getting, getting used and being put forward to our counterparts in the region. But it's almost the personal, you know, connections that you can make with, with one of your counterparts from another country that, um, motivates me, I guess, that I can see the simple one-on-one -on -one relationship can extend out to a, a broader relationship between two countries. The most interesting thing, I think, about being Asia literate is not that you just speak the words, but you understand how to engage with someone. While you can go and converse with somebody in Indonesian, for example, you have to understand what, what body language means and that perhaps another country or culture has a different way of conducting themselves in meetings and that a smile in our culture might not necessarily mean the same thing in another and that when we go straight to the point in a meeting, a, another country or culture might have a different way where they talk around an issue and, until you get to it right at the end. Having an Asian language with any of whatever other skill you choose um, can only enhance your own personal kind of life but also your, your career opportunities.